7.20 and it's auction day. We already have people sitting in Australia, South Africa, Saudi Arabia watching before the bidding gets going. Fundamentally, we're a property company. We have a team of surveyors that review properties, value properties, the same as everybody else. The difference being is the transactions take place online. We've uh, just passed eight o'clock. We're now uh, on the market. One of our more popular lots is a, a small parcel of land in, uh, in County Clare, a popular little seaside village called Scanner. We'll monitor this throughout the day um, to see where we end up at. As a seller, you want the best price with the most access. And as a buyer, you want the ease of ability to try and trade without feeling like A, you were hoodwinked in any way or that somebody lied to you. Just give the buyer the information, they'll do it themselves. The way the system is designed is if anybody bids with 60 seconds to go, it automatically extends the bidding out for a further 60 seconds. This is to stop anybody sniping in with a couple of seconds to go and pulling it out from everybody else. I've spent probably far too long working in in auctions. I myself pioneered some online auctions over in the UK back in 2015. The transition seemed obvious. It actually seemed as if it was staring us in the face. The reason we're online is to open it to the widest possible market. We have visits from 140 different countries in a year to our website. We have auctions where you know, there's people from Azerbaijan trying to buy an, an asset in Kildare. It's like, why? Well, because they can see it. Lot number two, one of our more popular lots, this is a mixed retail investment unit, over 100K over the reserve price. So we're expecting to have a very happy client after this one. Hi, Ever how are you? It's Keir calling from BidX1. We do want to feel like you know, our bidders have access to a person not just to a machine. Yeah, so the reserve on it will be 375. Yeah, it's important to, to interact with the client if they have any issues. They know that we're at the other end of the, the phone to help them out in any way that we can. The bidders obviously are anonymous, but they have a bidding number. It is completely transparent. It is only other registered parties they're bidding against. They know if they bid in there, the highest bidder. It's binding. The virtual hammer comes down, contracts are executed, the deal is done. The fact that we can accurately report back to our vendors the amount of bidders, the amount of interest, they trust the process. The reason we've had such a great opportunity to build this business and we've grown so quickly is most of our competitors, although they're not against change, they're afraid of it. A lot of auctioneers are protecting those in-room sales and trying to work out how they can manage that transition, if indeed they believe it's worth making that transition. This is our lot in the scanner, yeah, just coming to an end. So um, a minute on the clock, reserve is 25K. We really didn't know where we would end up. If it is. <laughs> Technology is going to change the way we do business. People will not even sign contracts in a few years, we believe. They'll use blockchain. Everything will be done digitally, and we want to be the first to do that. Oh, Rich, this is you, I'd say. Oh, hey. It's a really strong result for us. Couldn't have asked more from the team. It's been a really, really good day. We've changed the way the marketplace operates. It is the future. You know, you order food online, you book taxis online, you check your banking online. Why not buy property online? My goal in this business, obviously, is to be successful. But ultimately, I think we will be if we make it open and transparent to more people. That, I think, is probably the biggest message for our business. You know, we're open, it's transparent, it's for everyone.